backwards kind of place you can't wait to leave and nobody does welcome to sunday morning fallman we just got done with church guys and we're ready to rock and roll dude we have saturday morning fallman and we have sunday morning fallman wow this is gonna be if you're a farmer this is gonna be a good weekend for you guys here watching the squad but anyways so we have farmer nick in here we have artist jack and then carson is also in the discord he's downloaded the mods right now so we have two other helpers so what's up guys what's up what's up, what's up? okay Howdy. what what are you guys running right now i think okay or i'll let you guys explain what you guys are running um i'm running the 8930 i mean the 8970 and i'm disking up field three okay so artists yeah there's artists let's see if we can see him there he is okay it, look at that little circle right there and then that's artist artist is disking right there and he's oh he's taking the middle path right down the field so he did the headlands he's going right down and we're just disking up all that grass and then nick is eventually going to follow him and nick should be planting behind him nick's around the 8300 right here so the goal for this video is to literally just get everything planted and dissed and then start rolling in the summer to where we can start bailing all that that's kind of the goal uh, Nick, what field are you on? Are you on field four? No, you're on field two yet. You're slow over there, Nick. Nah, I'm just messing. He just started. He's he's actually got a lot of progress done over there. I'm going to come over. Oh, you know what? I need to drive the Ranger over to you. That's what I need to do. Um, I wonder... One thing I've always wondered. Can we get the can we get the passenger script in the Ranger? That'd be sweet if we could. We get the passenger script in the Ranger. Wherever that thing is. Where is the Ranger? I gotta find this thing now. I've seen it in the shop. Oh, that's right. That's right. Good call. Good call. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, shoot. I gotta move the 4020. Oh, speaking of 4020. So, Nick and Artist Jack and Carson were telling me, they're like, hey, squad, maybe you should get the Magnum off there and use the 4020 since they really want to use it. So, I'm I'm thinking I'm gonna throw the 4020 on the pull type uh, international stylus chopper. Would you guys be cool with that? Just because, I mean, I like case and stuff. And we have case we're using case right here too um but this magnum i really don't like this magnum tractor for some reason like look how that's so unrealistic how big those front tires on are nothing against uh this modding team or anything but i don't think they made this mod too well i guess like this is just ah, it just looks weird you guys think so like look at the front tires compared to the rear tires here just insane it is insane here so i'm gonna get the uh okay we'll eventually hook up the 4020 and Carson was saying it should have enough power to run that pull-type charger, so we will. We'll try her out. And then let me grab the Ranger and head out over to Nick. If you guys are enjoying the video, let me know. Smack that like button a little bit. Just give her a little tappy-tappy. And we'll take the Ranger out there. And by the way, guys, okay, so every, like, week or so in real life when we're going through this series, I'm going to try to buy, like, some new equipment. I mean, I you know I buy a lot of new equipment, but I'm going to try to switch it up a little bit. My kind of next purchase I have an eye on, is maybe getting a magnum a newer magnum and in replace of that magnum just because that magnum is a horrible mod in my opinion um but i'd like a newer one there's a really good one that we used on uh, the farming tournament that was awesome it did it did, it did perfect okay uh okay nick's no <laughs> there's nick we're on the 8300 okay nick you're playing that like 11 mile an hour aren't you got a hammer in that corn we're late <laughs> there he goes because the planter will literally let you plant at 11 mile an hour so nick is flying with that 8300 and he said it was his favorite type of planter so there we go did you pick up next there, uh, boss um okay get your butt over to field four over there let the 8300 fly boy. over there uh yeah field four oh, actually yeah go field four so guys right now field four is grass but we're just gonna no-till it in i think is what we'll do we'll just no-till that field We'll let him go over there. So he's folding up the planter right now. Okay. Favorite type of planter, right, Farm Nick? You got her. Do you guys have that in, on your actual farm in real life? 16 row. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay, so we have the Ranger. And I'm just flying across these fields. Now, I'm going to start... I'm going to start chopping silage. We're going to start chopping si silage. And we're going to throw the 4020 on there. I told you guys it was the 4020's time to shine. So here we go. We'll see if uh, we'll see if she can handle her. Um, okay, Ranger, Ranger's just going in the shed. Dude, we should name the Ranger. Okay, okay, everybody, everybody, we're gonna think of a name for the Ranger here. Throw your suggestion down. Top comment. Top comment wins this one. I'm literally not gonna look through them. I'm just gonna go. Top comment wins this. So, like, like that comment up. If you see a good name, like it up, and most likely it'll get to the top, and we'll call it. Like, there's no debating. If you guys are like, 
I want buck, butt liquor squad. We'll do butt liquor. The Rangers name is going to be butt liquor and it gets top comment. It's going to be butt liquor. So, okay. Hopefully nobody chooses that name. Cause that'd be, uh, I don't want to have that name, but if that's how it is, well, if, if it wins top comment, we'll let it be. We'll let it be. Okay. Farmer Nick, dude, Farmer Nick's gonna, oh, dude, I can just see Farmer Nick right now just going and commenting some crazy name. Everybody, he's like, everybody like this up and stuff. Okay, anyways, we'll see. Artist Jack or Farmer Nick might do that. We'll see. Um, Okay, the Magnum. Oh, I feel so bad for you guys, for you Case fans. I'm, I'm switching it out, and I'm switching up to John Deere. Because I, I, I kind of told you guys we were going to have this on here, even though now I'm switching it up. We'll detach her, but I do want to get a Magnum in real life. Or not a Magnum in real life, but I want to get a newer Magnum in this game. I want to trade this one in. I really do. So I'm thinking maybe sell her, but for now, she's going in the shed. Actually, we may need it to pull around this other wagon. We'll see, though. There we go. And so throughout this video, it's probably going to be a long video, but throughout the video, we'll kind of switch up jobs a little bit. I'll take uh, the disc. I'll take the planner. We'll all switch up jobs. Okay, we'll back the Magnum in right here. And then, actually, I'm going to use that Case 706, the diesel over there. Or Nick, what do you think of Case? Any? Do you like any Case? Is there a certain tractor you're like, hey, you know what? Even though I'm not a John Deere fan, that Case looks I like that case looks pretty nice. I don't ever want to sit in one of those things again. Really? Artist Jack. I'm a Case fan. I'm not the biggest fan of John Deere, honestly. Really? Okay. Do you like the old internationals, like the 706 loader I have right here? Yeah, I like them a lot. Okay, we'll have to have you. We'll have to have you run that, cause I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna put the 706 up to uh, this uh, this chopper box, chopper wagon. Well, okay, what's the correct term for these these silage wagons? Anybody know? Chopper what? boxes. Chopper box. Chopper box. Okay, that's what I'll call it. Cause I call it. There's so many different terms. I feel like you could probably call it. Okay, grab the 706. We're going to hook her up, and this will be our tractor that we use to just, like, transport back and forth across the field. There we go. And then, okay, so Farmer Nick, I was literally helping with a thumbnail. He was making he was making a video of my Ford and how it broke down because it started on fire or something, right? Isn't that going to be the video basically on Squad Farms over there? Well, we'll just have to wait and see, but basically, yeah, it's got some part problems. I was driving, and all of a sudden it blew up. Oh man, I don't know if you guys knew, but there's a recall on my Ford, which means I just take it in to get a certain part fixed, and it's basically the seatbelt. It's known to start on fire. I don't know if you guys know that, but uh, Ford just kind of recalled that like a month ago or so. I haven't taken it in to get fixed yet. Okay, there we go. 706 is there. 4020. Here we go. We'll see. We'll see how she does. Dude, it is going to take forever to chop this this whole cornfield. I don't know if we'll ever get it done, to be honest. We'll just kind of just pick it apart just a couple rounds at a time, I guess, is what we're going to do. We're 22% full on this wagon. It'll take so long to fill this whole wagon up, though. That's the thing. One pass on the field uh, filled it up 22% here, is what it showed. Okay. We'll pull her around here. Put her in. Fire her up. There we go, the international. Um, perfect. There we go. Okay. Um, hold on. Okay, nice. We should be. We're rolling. Okay, perfect. Now, why go here? Hold on. Let me get this to like eight mile an hour, and then we are ready to rock and roll. Maybe nine mile an hour. Oh, forty twenty, dude. It's taking. It's taking a lot of power out of this thing. Oh my gosh, it's taking a while to get up to uh, get up to 9 mile an hour too. Maybe we shouldn't be running this fast. We'll see. This is kind of fast through here. There we go. As long as I can handle it, we should be good. Okay, we're running too fast. We're running way too fast. I gotta slow her down. We'll go 7 mile an hour. 7 mile an hour should be good. There we go. <clears throat> okay, and speaking of my truck actually. Um... So today, me and Spencer went back to uh, our hometown, I guess. It's like 40 minutes away. But anyways, we went back, and uh, we were helping my dad. You'll see a post on Instagram. We are helping my dad doing some uh, tree removal out of duplex and stuff. And anyways, we had the dump trailer. And so we're going to take the dump trailer when we go camping uh, to haul the dirt bikes and stuff. So I hooked it up to my truck, and I just took it around the block quick, you know, just to see how, because I've never pulled anything with the new F-150, just to see how it would handle. And it actually handled the trailer way better than like our f-250 light duty f-250 it's it's technically like an f-150 but it's i guess i guess 
term it's an f-250 but anyways it handled like really good i was so surprised me and spencer were su surprised the power is insane on there compared compared to our old 1997 f-250 it actually handled it a lot better i was like oh man i'm excited i'm excited for this thing so uh it'll be interesting to see how it goes i'm actually going to install a trailer brake on uh my white new truck soon here okay there we go and artist jack so artist jack actually created that truck in real life or not in real life in the game guys i don't know if you guys know that thank you artist jack for uh creating that truck the 2015 f-150 Anytime. Uh, I think I might be start working on it again. Ooh, what it are you gonna? Okay, what are you gonna add to it? Um, I'm probably gonna go through and add a, the bed cover is configuration stuff, so you Ooh, can actually okay. use it, like the fifth wall and stuff. And I'll probably like, completely reopen it and a few other things. Dude, you know what you need to do? You need. I don't know if this is possible, but you should steal. You should try stealing, uh, not stealing, using uh, Punka Dylan's F-150 ramps in his tailgate. Uh -huh, that's what I was thinking about doing. I've contacted him to see if I can get the original AO big and if I can um, get it. Yeah, dude. I Okay, if you can't get it, I could probably get it for you. I could probably talk to him because that would be sweet if we could get that on my truck with ramps and the tailgate and everything like that. Oh, that would yeah, be can, awesome. If you, if you can get it, I can do it. Okay, and then how are you How are you doing discing over there? You doing good over there? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Halfway through the field? Um... Probably about a more than a third. Okay, there we go. We're good. And over here, we're forty percent full. Just slowly chopping away, guys. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! We're driving over to corn. There we go. The forty twenty. I've always said this. It rolls a perfect amount of coal. Like some, whoever made this mod, they did a nice job. I love this mod. To be honest, the cab. I love the cab about it. To be honest, the yellow on the cab. I don't know. It just has a nice look to it. Has a good look to it. And plus, How Farms Work has this exact same tractor. So I see it in videos, and I'm like, oh, let's use it in farms then. So kind of cool doing that, too. So right now, Farmer Nick's taking over the 420. It's looking good in the 420. There he goes. And the wagon right now is like 80% full. So I'm thinking he should be able to make it all around the field. I, hopefully, he'll be able to make it a whole round around the field. Nick, if you want, you can kind of cut in a little bit and take out like three or four rows with that, even though it's only meant for two. If you really want to. It's tough, but it'll it'll go a lot faster if you do that. But there we go. Nick's, Nick's chopping. Now, it's going to take, dude... <laughs> I probably done like four or five laps around this field and oh my gosh it's like oh, we haven't even put a dent in it so i mean that's good and bad i guess um but once he gets here we'll switch out wagons quick i'll jump in the 706 switch her out but for right now i'm gonna hop to the 8300 quick we got artist jack over there which is uh okay he started disking already okay perfect and then i'll start planting well hardest is just disking right there will be sweet um first i gotta hold on i gotta pull up this map to see where he actually planted okay he's been planting down there the whole time yes yeah, so you can see like where he's planting and stuff okay are you going to be disking back and forth like that way or are you going to uh, go the yeah. long way yeah i'm doing it this way okay um i think i should be able to as long as you don't rip out my seed out of the ground or you know what? I may wait till you get this all done and oh, I guess I I could we'll see. I could make one more pass right here. Okay, so I'll just kind of start slowly just playing right here, guys. This should Planner's on. Planner's ready to rock and roll. There we go. So I'll just slowly start playing right here. Shoot, I'm kind of overlapping a little bit. And then we'll just go all the way up and down. Ours Jack's disking right there. Maybe I shouldn't have, because you might rip out some seed out of the ground. It's fine if you do, though. So, Farmer Actually. Nick is done. Okay, let me finish this end, and I'm... Okay, shoot. I gotta go right now. Never mind. Oh, I need the Ranger to fly over there. Okay, for now, I'm just gonna tab over there. Bring in the 706, and... Oh, are you full already? Shoot. Okay. Dude, the 706 one's pulling this uh, chopper box. Wait, where are you at on the field? Oh, you're on the opposite end. Okay, I'm coming over there. 
If we can make the turn without run over some corn. Oh gosh. That's tight over that's tight on the BTO over there. <laughs> there we go. We're running over there. 706. She's bumping. She's bumping some coal out. There we go. We're coming. Dude, I think I think I'm gonna really like the 706 guys. Especially when we start doing livestock. I actually use a loader to move bales and stuff like that. This will be I feel like this will be a fun tractor. This and I should get the Oliver also, that all the other uh, Oliver loader tractor we had. I wonder if I'm going to be able to tell a difference with all this weight in the wagon. We'll see. Okay, you drop the wagon there. I'm thinking, right? And then pull ahead here. I can. Oh wait. Oh, hold. Okay, never mind. Anyways. Okay, and now I will. I'll drop the wagon here. Is that cool? Can you make the turn? Yep. Okay. There we go. Oh, shoot. Oh, he's coming in front of me. Oh, he hit me. There we go. Now, we'll pull around, and I'll take uh, this wagon over here. Want to put the pin in? Yep. Yep. That's what I was going to say. There we go. Gotcha. Dude, I think this one has a hydraulic pin where it lifts it up and down. I'm pretty sure on that one. Okay. We'll pull around here, and I could turn up my game volume a little bit. It's a little quiet. There we go. Better put the pin in for squad. He gets too lazy. You don't like getting on and off anymore. Thank you, Mr. Nicholas. There we go. Thank you, Farmer Nick. We got 9.6 tons in here, which would be um two. Wow, uh, 19 19.2 tons. 19 19,200 pounds is what it should be. Back in this chopper box is how much weight we got technically. There we go. And dude, to be honest, the 706 runs the exact same speed. Like, you can't even feel like it's back there. I mean, obviously, some things... Okay, do you guys notice that at all in farm sim? Like, some things will... Like, if it fills up with silage in the back, it'll feel a lot heavier when you start pulling it. But in other things in farm and similar, even if you have a ton of, like, dirt or something in the back of it, it does it. There's no weight difference. Like, it pulls it at the same speed. Okay, right now, when we're chugging up the hill... Okay, never mind. When we're chugging up the hill... This scene is, uh, she's pulling hard. Oh, Nick, you forgot to put, uh, hook up the PTO, man. There we go. We can't run this thing. We can't unload it without the PTO. Really you don't realistic you, uh, hook up the PTO when you get to the lower. Oh, true. Why don't you do it when you're driving? Or before you drive? I don't know. A lot of people I've seen, like, how farms work do it. They wait until they get to the actual, uh, blower and then put it on. Yeah, that's what, okay, so that's what I was thinking too, because I literally, well, I mean, I don't see why you wouldn't do it, like, right when you hook it up, but anyways, I have also saw that in another vid, the guy literally, I don't know who I was watching, some Pennsylvania guy, he got there, and then he hooked up the PTO up right when he got to the blower, like, exactly like you said, even though I feel like you could just put it on in the field, but there must be some, some really good reason as to why they don't. Shoot, we're going the wrong way, uh, I need, okay, it's fine, I can just open this gate, we'll be good. There you go. For, so for you case fans, we're using the international, the farm on. It's working good. Oh, there we go. We gotta make this whole turn here. We should be good. And then artist, I can uh, I can start di I can start disking if you want to also, and you can plant if you if you want, or or you can keep disking if you if you want to. I mean, if you want to disk, you can. Okay, you can hop out of the. Actually, keep disking until I get there. I should be there soon, and then you can take over the planter once I get there. Okay. Okay, this will be interesting to see how the box unloads, guys. I don't know how this is going to... I mean, I, I kind of understand. Oh, dude, you know what we need? We need something to push silage. Shoot, this is going to be... Uh, this will be interesting. Okay. I don't know how I plan to do this, but... Uh, maybe I should back up in there. Yeah, guys, I think we got to back up in there. Might be best if we back up. Oh, gosh. There we go. We'll get her. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. This is not good. Man. These wagons are a little tough to back and move. Okay, we'll pull her all the way up. And now I'll try to back her in. I'm... Oh, my gosh. That's... Oh, my gosh. The PTO and the... Uh, that arm or whatever is literally ripping through the tire right there. Okay, I'll try to back her in. Oh, shoot. We're in a tree. Here we go.
Uh, we're gonna hit that wall. Shoot. Okay, I gotta pull forward a little bit, and then we should be good. This is kinda taking me a long time to back this thing in here. Here we go. We got her now. Darn it. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Dude, this is taking me forever, guys. I'm, I apologize. Wow. There we go. I want to just get it tight to this wall so we so all of it will spray out, you know, obviously to the side. It would be nice to put this in a blower like Nick said, but this is the only way we can really do her, I guess. We'll just have to get... It's going to be tough, but this should unload the way I want it to. There we go. We're actually getting there, finally. Okay. I'm saying that's good, even though I'm angled horribly bad. Okay. Here we go. Finally, wall motor. Dude, I gotta start spreading this stuff out. This is gonna take a little while to unload, but... Here we go. I'll put her all the way in the back, and now we gotta pull through here. It's kinda cool how it's working. Oh shoot, we gotta pull over this. Yeah, we're gonna need something to push this in. You know what? We should get a dozer blade on the on the 89. That'd be so cool if I could get a dozer blade on that. Oh, guys, you know what we should have right here is we should have a, a not an auger. Uh, auger would work too, I guess, but a, a conveyor belt where I unload it in the conveyor belt and the conveyor belt reaches all the way over here and unloads it all through here. Oh, that's what I really need. I need a conveyor belt. This is definitely the wrong way to do it. We should have a conveyor belt or auger or something to really get it back to the back because it's tough to unload how we do it right now. But for now, okay, Nick, I'm running over. I'm running out the 706 with the chopper box and then you can switch them out once you get full. But right now, what? You're probably at like, what, like 30% or something like that? 45. You're at 45%. Okay, so let me know when you need to switch them out again and then I'll be your man. Okay. We'll pull in over here. Oh, Farmer Nick's right here. There he goes. You like it? Okay, Farmer Nick, you liking the 4020 there? It's 4020. The 4020 tractor? You're in? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. And 706 is there. Okay, artist, I am coming over there and I will steal your disc from you and you can take the planter. There we go. Okay, I'm sprinting across the field. Oh, I should use the Rangers, what I should have used. Here we go. Oh, there's gonna be a uh, there's gonna be a ditch here that we gotta kind of go around. It's gonna be a little tough. Okay, or we can yeah, try to plant. Yeah, you can drive through. Just um, turn it off whenever you go through it. Okay, yeah. I'll just I'll just lift it right up right before we hit the the, the ditch there. There we go. Jump in the eighty nine. Drop her down. And we're a rock and roll. Dude, okay, for like, just like two minutes in this video, guys, I'm just gonna literally let you guys hear the sounds of the 89 discin, because I feel like this would be cool to hear.
There we go. And so here, okay, here is where it's going to get tricky. We got to go through that. We'll cut through the ditch and then literally just lift it up quick. It might, it'll be kind of cool actually. I'm going to actually lift it up. I really got to focus here now. We should, we should be good though. I'll drop her down. Um, are we going to have to do it here? Yeah, we're going to have to do it here. I kind of actually dissed that ditch up a little bit, but for now, I'll go into the ditch. I'll lift her up. Oh, we're stuck. Okay, there we go. I'll lift her up. And then set her down. Right there. There we go. That way we don't have to diss the ditch. Perfect. I wonder why this is grass like this. See how this is like grass right here? I wonder why that is. <coughs> but for now, we'll keep disking. Nick, what are you uh, What are you at for percentage-wise? Uh, 70. You're at 70? Okay, so I'm thinking one more lap around the field, roughly, and then I'll have to come unload you again. Dude, we're getting work done, boys. We're getting this done. Nice. We'll keep lifting her up, and then Artis is planting. He's just going hand planting over there. I'm disking. Farmer Nick, of course, is cutting salvage over there. Drop her down. And perfect. Dude, I'd love to get a bigger disc, guys, but the 50-foot disc, like, there's nothing... I don't know. There's nothing... Do you guys know of any disc that... Uh, that's bigger than this, guys. I don't, I don't think we can get a bigger disc than a 50-foot disc. In the 89, it might have a little trouble pulling a bigger disc. Anything bigger, we get a big cultivator, I guess. That's what we could do. Okay, here's where, here's where we gotta. Oh shoot, this is gonna get tough, guys. Oh my gosh, I don't know if this is uh, too realistic. Actually, there we go. We'll lift her up. Oh my gosh, there we go. Now we'll drop her down. There we go. Perfect. Lift her up again. You know what? I should maybe just... Oh, we're almost done. We're almost done here. Finally. Drop her down. Get going again. We'll kind of angle it a little bit so we get around here. There we go. Okay, now ditch time. Lift her up. Come on, climb through here. <laughs> yeah, dude. Normally in real life, you probably wouldn't do this with the tractor because that is tough on the tractor. That is real tough. There we go. We'll finish this out. There's Artist Jack over there playing. And there we go. We'll head to the end here. And then, okay, Farmer Nick, need me to run over? 82. 82. Where are you at in the field? Are you close to the end? Mm, somewhat. Okay, I may start running over soon. I'll do one more pass here and then start running over to you. That way we can get going and get you ahead of time so you're not sitting there. There we go. One more pass here and we should be good. Throw a cruise control on. Maybe it's up to, what, 9 mile an hour? Oh, that'd be sweet if we could pull a little faster. Artist, does that dis that dis no-tills, right? Were you just going over grass? If you want, Artis, you can you can just till the rest of this grass. Or just no-till it, basically, technically. You can just plant into it if you if you want. You can't. Oh, you can't yeah, with this? Can. Oh, you can't. Oh, okay. That's actually kind of cool, I guess, that you can't. I thought... Okay, I thought that tractor, maybe you, you could, but okay. There we go. We'll drop her down. So we actually have to... I didn't know we actually have to disc up all this grass then. Okay, I got to make sure... I don't want to knock out the seed out of the ground, but it's tough. I got to finish all this out. We kind of put ourselves in a sticky, sticky situation here. There we go. Okay, Nick, I'm headed over with the 706. Oh, you're you're right towards the end. Okay, just switch her out right here, then it'll be fine. I'll drop this one down. There we go. Oh, you started going back and forth. Okay, nice. Oh, okay, that's smart. That's smart. Rather than going around the field. There we go. So Nick will finish that out. We'll switch those out. But guys, for now, this is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. I think I'm going to do farming like every other day or something like that. Who knows? But farming on this series has been uh, really fun. And uh, we're going to... Every other day sounds good. That should sound good. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy the video, let me know. Smash that like button. Hey, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching, brothers.